Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about some methods we can use to watch our bird box camera. Well, we all know that when we want to watch birds in our backyard, our green backyard bird box camera is a very good solution. We can set up the bird box camera inside the birdhouse and we can get a very clear image because our bird box cameras have 1080p high definition resolution. And also we can hear the birds because we have Microsoft microphones built inside and we can hear them tweet, flap their wings. We also have like four infrareds around the camera so you can see it when it's dark around. It's like night vision. And we also have like adjustable lenses here. These adjustable lenses allow us to adjust the focal length whenever we move the bird box camera to a new position. And then there's like the recording, the motion detectors, all this good features. And since it's an IP device, we have abilities to watch it on different other like mobile devices, smartphones, tablets, or our computers, or an NVR, a monitor. And today we're going to talk about the methods. Well, the first one is not really strange to us, it's by using our phones. In this case, today I'm going to show you guys how to use an iPhone, an iPhone to watch the bird box camera. And then we'll talk about some other measures, some other methods on the computer. So first, let's take our iPhone out. After we have downloaded the app ICC, we can click on it. Right here, I've already downloaded it on my iPhone, so you guys can uh, you know, download it on your own devices. And then when we open it, we log in. And log in now, I have connected to a camera, and this is connected. This is online, so we're going to just choose it. And then we have the image of our bird box camera. I'm going to lift the lid a little so it makes some movement. Let you guys see it. A little bit laggy, but we still can see a really good image. And we can also make it full screen, take screenshots, share it to people. It's very convenient. So this is like watching our iPhones, very convenient. We just like lay back on our couch and do it. And then let's go see some other methods. Now let's take a look on our desktop, our computer's interface. Now we're gonna use a very special software to watch our bird box camera. It is the Blue Iris. So once we've activated the Blue Iris software, this is how it looks with no devices connected. And then we're going to right click on the middle of the center and then it will pop out a new camera selection. It's really important for us to remember, click enable audio. If we don't click it and we choose OK, our audio will not be activated and then our microphone will be a kind of a waste. And now it comes to the IP camera configuration. Well first we're going to use our brand Galbon right here and then after that we're going to go to our green backyard web page and retrieve our original RTSP code. So once we've retrieved it, we're going to paste it right here. And we're going to choose OK. And then we'll choose OK again. And right now we have the image of our bird house. Now let me tilt the roof a little to see some motions. And you can see even if it's kind of dark around, we can still have a very clear visual of the inside of the bird house. That's the night vision. And what if we use a different type of camera? We can also add the bird box camera using the on with protocol. Well, this front is still the same procedure. And at the end here, we're going to choose the generic on with protocol. And right here, RTSP. We're going to add our source code. Then click OK. And go OK click again. And here it is, the same bird box camera. So you can see that this is a very convenient device we have here and also we can use this to stream our video so right here we have webcast and right here there is the flash media live encoding we can just 
copy and paste our, our TMP URL and our stream key here. And, and after that, we can just successfully stream it on YouTube, which is really convenient if you would love enjoying sharing the bird box camera with everyone around the world. All right, that's much it for this. If you have any more questions, you can ask me later.